This conference will now be recorded. So here uh, we'll be talking about uh, the tables in the SAP basically. Okay, so normally uh, here we will understand uh, what are first, what are SAP tables basically, okay? Whenever you create any data, uh, whether it is master data or transactional data or even customization data, custom uh, configuration, all these information, all this data is stored in tables in SAP. Okay, so normally we create we create uh, configuration, we do configuration. Okay, then we create master data. Let me put it as configuration data and master data. Okay, and day-to-day uh, uh, -day transactional data. So all this data, all this data in SAP stored in tables. They are called tables. So these tables will have this data. Data. So these are called basically ABAP tables, basically. So normally when you go to any interview, any functional uh, interview, you will get a question on tables sometimes. They may ask you some important tables, okay? So uh, there are thousands, uh, there, are, there are millions of tables in SAP. Uh, no need to remember all these tables, but you should know how to work with tables, okay? How to use these tables, how to work with these tables, okay? How to access these tables, all that as a functional consultant, you should have that knowledge. So that's the reason we are discussing this topic today. Okay, so basically first we understand what are these tables, what are these tables, and then, then we will see some of the important tables in plan maintenance module. Okay, so basically what are the tables? The SAP, SAP ABAP table, database tables are collection of fields in which fields are made up of columns and rows. So basically these tables will contain columns and rows basically where the information is stored a table can contain one or more fields okay each defined with its data type and length length okay the large amount of data is stored in a table is distributed among the several fields defined in the tables so basically this table will contain fields okay when table is created suppose there are already standard tables. On top of that, if required, a technical team, ABAP team can create the custom tables, okay, if required. When table is created, its columns are named and data type is supplied for each columns, okay. There can be only one data value in each column of each row in a table. Of course, this is when you create a table. Of course, the table, new custom table creation is the responsibility of technical team, if required. Okay, so but here our discussion is limited to the standard tables. How to use the standard tables? So basically, we are covering today what are the standard SAP tables. Okay, so so basically, uh, how the, the the table basically it contains fields. The particular table, the table will contain fields. Okay, and each field will have its data type data type what data the data whether it is a numeric or alphabetic or date what type it is or character format okay and length how many characters it is uh, it, it is allowed and then its description i will show you this these things in the system okay so basically the tables will contain the fields basically okay so now let us see the uh, table so to see the tables the transaction codes most widely used is either SC60, SC60, or you can use SC16N. Okay, but functional consultants normally most of the time they use SC16N. Very, very convenient. It will have it will display field along with this technical name and uh, normal description. Okay, so let me show you in the system how to go to the table. Okay, so here. If you see here, just to go to the tables, you need to 
go to transaction SC60. SC60, and here you need to enter the table. Table. Okay. Another method is, or let me enter one table here. Okay, let's say the table equipment table EQUI. I will come to these tables again. EQUI. Okay, enter. Okay, now it is showing only two fields here. Then here you enter the equipment number and then execute. It will display all the fields. Another method is you go to SC16N. SC16N transaction. Okay, this is the one. Normally you will get like this first time. Okay, then you just enter EQUI, your table, and enter. So now these are the fields. You see here, these are all the fields in this table. In the EQI table, these are all the fields. These are all the fields. This is the field name, and this is its technical name. This is its technical name. Okay. So suppose let's say uh, whenever you create equipment, that equipment information is stored in this table. Okay. So when you're as a functional consultant, when you're writing a functional specification document, you will be using all these documents, all these tables. So from which table the information has to be fetched and used during the various ABAP developments, various rise of developments. Okay, what are rise of developments? Okay, what are those things? We will discuss in a separate session. Okay, so now we will talk about some of the important tables in PM. Okay, so let's go through one by one. Okay, first we will talk about equipment tables. Okay, so in our PM module, the main main object is equipment. So we will see the important tables of equipment. So the most important tables for equipment is EQUI, equipment master data. Okay, another table is EQU set, EQU set. Another table is EQKT. Of course, you have some other tables, you have a lot of tables, but the most widely used ones are this one. Okay, so these are the some of the important fields, important fields in the table. You see here EQUNR, equipment number, EQ. TYP equipment category. Okay. LVORM, deletion flag activated or not. HERST, manufacturer, plant, WARK, plant. So these are some of the important fields. So it this is the table, and these are the some of the some of the fields, not all. It will have a lot of fields. Okay, so now let's see the EQUA table. Okay, so let us go to EQUA table. This is the one. Let me start from the beginning again. I will go to SE 16 n Okay. Normally you will get like this. Then you just type EQUI. Enter. Okay. Now it will display all the. Okay. Let me do one thing. Okay, let me first enter some other one. Again, now I will enter EQUI. EQUI. Now when I enter, then all the fields in that table will come. See these are the ones. equipment. This is the field. This is the technical name of the. Field. This is the field name. This is the technical name of the. Field. So suppose whenever you create a new equipment or already create equipment, the data will be stored in this table. So in this system, we already have some uh, equipment. Suppose let's say I'll, I'll search the equipments which are created from my ID. Okay, I'll go to our report IH08. Let me search what are the ones I created. Okay, so this many, this many uh, equipments are created from my ID. Okay, so we'll do one thing. We'll filter with only one zero one zero plant. Okay, so let me go back. Let me put the plant here. Plant is one zero one zero. Execute. So this many equipments are created from my ID in this plant, 1010 plant. These are the ones. Okay. 
so now to search okay so let's go to the table okay here i will enter one equipment i'll take the one equipment let's say i'll take this one 500 kva diesel generator so take the equipment number and go to the table here you give the equipment number now it will display all the fields of this equipment see you can see here we entered only equipment when it is created created by who or changed by okay its object type its inventory number size and dimension all the data in the equipment master will be displayed over here okay so this is the column this is the row okay even if you double click you can see the information once you double click you can see this is the field name this is the technical name. here you have all the information you see the manufacturer i'll show you the equipment master if i go to equipment master ie03 this is the equipment we used so whatever we maintained in the equipment master you see manufacturer caterpillar india limited all these are stored in the table see caterpillar india limited, manufacturer this is the technical name technical field name and this is the normal field name so you you can see entire information here all this it is stored in tables basically okay suppose let's say you want to see only the uh, equipment created from my id okay so then you can see here created by you can enter our id my id then it will fetch all the equipment created using this id see now you got of this many this many equipments basically okay created from my id this id okay so this also you will get okay so this is uh, one of the important table in the, uh, for equipment and on top of that you have some other tables eq use it eq use it and also eq kt okay so eq use it enter that have these these fields basically these fields equipment time segment okay another another important table is eqkt it is a short text of the table eqkt eqkt okay so these are the suppose let's say let me go to again back to the normal initial table eq ui no need to remember all these tables as you work as you start working on sap you will be able to remember some of the important tables even in the interviews also they will ask the you tell some of the important tables okay so here let's say now when you when i execute let's say suppose let's say created by i entered my ID. now i want to know the number of entries normally normally what people will do they will enter the name here and they will execute we have entries but how many entries you have here it is showing number of its 39 but without executing also you can check how many entries are there whether entries are there or not if it all entries how many entries so go back no need to execute here you see there is a button called number of entries just click on that it will display entries form 39 that means there are 39 equipments created using this id so that this is the one actually suppose now when i execute you are getting all the information equipment created on who created it and all the information if you scroll to right you are getting all the information okay so now but let's say i want to see only the equipment number created by and its category that's all its category we have we have the planning plant it Now, let's say I want to see there is no planning plant, I believe, in this table. Okay, let's say I want to see only the equipment with its category. Now we are getting here everything. I want to see only the equipment created by and its category. So now how to display is just go back here. Now you see all the fields are checked actually. First, what you do, you just deselect all, click on deselect all. 
I want to see only the equipment column created by select the field. Okay, now scroll down and I want to see only category. So you need to check the fields which you want to display. 